My First Bible presents Moses and the Burning Bush. After a long journey, Moses was able to escape from the Pharaoh, and he made it to a land called Midian. There, Moses laid down near a well to rest. At that moment, seven young girls arrived who sought to get water from the well to give to their sheep. However, the shepherds who then got there mistreated them and stopped them from drinking water from the well. The well is ours. Get away from here, they said. The well is our father's. It doesn't belong to you, they responded. Watching everything that was happening, Moses decided to intervene to help the young ladies and defend them from the shepherds. Then, he helped the girls take water out of the well and give the sheep a drink. The girls were the daughters of a priest in Midian named Jethro. Mm -hmm. Jethro was Hebrew, but he was a good man who loved God very much. Huh? When his daughters made it home, Jethro asked them, Why have you come back so soon? Because an Egyptian stranger huh? helped us and got rid of mm -hmm. the shepherds for us. He even got water out of the well for the flock to drink, they responded. And where is this man? He hmm? asked. Why did you leave him alone? Huh? Invite him over to eat with us. <laughs> the girls found Moses and invited him to dine with them. <laughs> Jethro, seeing that Moses was a good person, offered to let him live in his house. And Moses accepted him. <laughs> a few days later, Moses and one of Jethro's daughters named Zipporah fell in love and got married. Eventually, they had two children. One was named Gershom and the other Eliezer. A lot of time passed and then the king of Egypt died and a new pharaoh came into power. The Israelites thought they would stop being slaves. It was quite the opposite. Love also. It turned out to be much worse. Oh no. They continued to be upset with their condition as slaves. They cried out to God for help. They thought that God had abandoned them. <laughs> One day, on Mount Horeb, Moses was taking care of Jethro's sheep, when suddenly he saw something very strange. On a mountain, he saw a bush called Bramble set on fire. Moses noted that the bush was not burning up and said, Wow, how incredible! I'm going to see why the bush isn't burning. <laughs> then, Moses heard a voice calling to him. Moses! Moses. <gasps> huh? I am here! Moses, Moses don't, don't go, go any, any closer, closer, said the voice. Take, Take off, off your, your sandals, sandals because, because you, you are, are standing, standing on, on holy ground. ground. Who are you? I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. When Moses heard this, he fell to the ground. He was scared to look at God. And God said to him, I see how cruelly the Egyptians treat my people. The time has come to save them. I will, I will bring them, bring them back, back to the land, land that, that I promised, promised Abraham and Isaac, Isaac a, beautiful a beautiful land, land. Good, good and spacious, a land, a land where, where there is an abundance, an abundance of milk and, and honey. honey. I, I am, am referring to the country, to the country of, Canaan. of Canaan. So prepare, so prepare yourself, yourself to leave, leave Moses. Moses. I am, I am sending, sending you to the to Pharaoh, Pharaoh so that you may free my people, the Israelites, from Egypt. Moses said to him, 
but, but, who am I? I'm not important enough to tell the Pharaoh to let our people leave Egypt. I will be with you. But, but the Israelites won't believe that I'm speaking for you, said Moses. What will I say to them if, if, if they ask me what your name is? What will I respond? God said to him, I am who I am. That is my name. I am has sent me. That's what you will say to the people. Tell them that the God who chose them as a special people has sent you. Moses did not feel ready to do what God was asking of him. He tried to come up with many excuses. What if they don't believe me when I tell them who you are? Then what do I do? The Israelite elders and leaders will believe you, said God. And to prove that I am with you, ask the Pharaoh to all you to take my people to the desert for a three-day journey to worship me. I know very well that the Pharaoh will not accept this. So then, I will show my power by punishing all the Egyptians. Moses said, but what if they still don't listen to me? God asked him, What do you have in your hand? My rod, he answered. Throw it to the ground, he said. Moses let it fall to the ground, and it transformed into a serpent. Moses tried to run away from it, but God commanded him to grab it by its tail. When Moses grabbed the serpent, it once again turned into the rod in his own hands. Wow. Now, bring Bring your your hand hand to your your chest. chest. Moses brought his hand to his chest, and when he took it off, Ah. his hand was covered with leprosy. Bring Bring it to your your chest chest again, again, insisted God. Once again, Moses brought his hand to his chest, and when he took it off, it was on the rest of his body. Oh. (sighs) If the first first miracle miracle isn't isn't enough to make make them them believe believe you or listen to you, said God, then then maybe maybe they'll believe you with with the the second. second. Oh, Lord, I'm not good at talking. I am slow to speak and clumsy with my tongue. It is very difficult for me to talk, insisted Moses. Moses tried to come up with all the excuses imaginable so that God would send another person. Moses! God became angry with Moses and said, I will send your brother Aaron. He will meet you and go with you. He is a good talker. Aaron will speak to the people for you. You will tell him everything I say to you. Don't forget to take that rod with you, because with it, you'll perform miraculous signals. Finally, Moses did not have any excuses left. He Ah. obeyed God and left from there. He took his family, said goodbye to his father-in-law. Okay, bye. Bye. Moses and his family began the journey back to Egypt. Moses carried a rod in his hand, which would be the tool God would use to demonstrate his power to the Israelites and Egyptians. Comment and subscribe below.